So I'll wait to discipuli. This uh, video is about imperatives and vocatives, which we learned in stage 19. Um, so, all right, so making the imperative, uh, actually before we get into making the imperative, uh, it helps to know what the imperative is. The imperative is how you make a command. You can remember that imperative means command because we the word imperial is related to it. So imperial people make lots of commands. Making the imperative is super easy as long as you know the infinitive. Remember the infinitive is the second principal part of all verbs. It's the to form. So amara is to love. So you look at the infinitive and you drop the RE, that's why I have it underlined here, and what you're left with is the singular imperative. So commanding one person to do the verb. In this case, it would be you, love. In order to make it plural, all you do is throw a TE on it, and then you're commanding more than one person to do the verb. So you all, love. In the second conjugation, same thing, drop the RE, what you're left with is AUDE, you, dare throw a TE on the end of it, and you've got more than one person being commanded to dare. You all dare. The third declension, sorry, not declension, third conjugation is a little bit different. The singular is the same though, so you drop the RE and you're left with one, a singular command, so you demand. But before you throw the TE on in order to make it plural, you have to switch that E to an I. So posque becomes poskite. So you all demand. Conficera, drop the RE, and you get you, finish. Change the E to an I, throw a TE on the end, you all finish. Uh, fourth declension, back to the exact same pattern as the first and the second, sorry, not declension, conjugation, uh, back to the same pattern as the first and second conjugation. So drop the RE, and you have a singular command. You, rage, be angry. Throw a TE on the end, and you have a plural command. You all, rage. Now, in order to make a negative command, so in order, it, this is to command somebody not to do something. Now, this isn't to commanding somebody to stop doing something. <clears throat> it's simply commanding them not to do it. So you take the verb uh, to not want. Its infinitive is nole. You drop that RE, sorry, that LE, because <clears throat> it's an irregular verb, and you get noli. Literally, it means don't want to whatever. So we could say, you don't love, or you don't run into the street. So whatever it is that you're wanting to command the person not to do, you put it in the infinitive. <coughs> if you're going to command more than one person not to do something, just like before, you throw a TE on the end of it, and whatever it is that you want to command them not to do, you put that in the infinitive. So you all, don't eat too much pizza. All right, now in order to uh, command people to do things, it helps to be able to talk to them. And uh, in order to do this in Latin, we put things in the vocative. <coughs> that comes from woco wocara, to call. Um, thankfully, this is also pretty easy. In all but one instance, the vocative is exactly the same as the nominative. The only time it is not the same as the nominative is in the second declension masculine. So here we have in the second declension masculine, us or er, and it is actually an e in the vocative. So just the singular vocative, singular masculine second declension vocative changes to an e. All the rest of them are exactly the same as the nominative. So let's do a little bit of practice. Pause the video, copy this down, and mark it up and translate it. All right, so UNAS, this is vocative, it's plural, so we were commanding multiple young men to do something. This is plural imperative. We know that because this right here is just the, uh, the infinitive replacing the RE with a TE. So young men, be quiet. All right, pause the video, copy this down and mark it up. Okay, diligenter is an adverb. Labora is a singular imperative. We know because if we were to put an RE on the end of here, we would have the infinitive of to work. Notice that there isn't a vocative here. We don't have to have a vocative. It can just be assumed, you. So this is someone commanding one person to work hard. 
You work diligently. All right, data mihi pecuniam. So data is a plural imperative because if we switched this T to an R, we'd have dara, which means to give. Mihi, according to our pronoun charts, is the indirect object to or for me. And pecuniam is accusative singular, so it's our direct object. So you all give me the money. All right, me adiua. All right, me is uh, the direct object form of me. It's a first person personal pronoun. Adiua is a singular imperative. So again, the we don't have a vocative here, but we know from our ending that we're commanding one person to help. So you help me. All right, Wally to the Skipuli.